Now, this is a sappy story, I have this morning. So, we've all heard of the term high school sweetheart. High school sweethearts, you know, people who date all throughout high school and go off to college together and end up getting married. Well, I have a similar story, but a little bit different. I have what's called the post high school sweetheart. And this is the story of how I met my current girlfriend, who I wear on my wrist at all times, Atlas and Clay. Now, it all began my senior year of high school, where I was walking in the hall casually, and I saw this really interesting female that I was like, I knew who she was, but I like <laughs> never spoken to her, and I really wanted to speak to her, and I didn't know how, because I was always a nervous wreck, and I couldn't go up and introduce myself. <laughs> And I eventually would change the way I walked to my classes so I could just pass her by just so she could see me as I walked by, as I nervously stumbled, <laughs> trying to say hello. Now, it got to the point where I did that for about a month, and I finally mustered up the courage to add her on Snapchat. I got her Snapchat, and boy was I excited for this one. Now, I, I noticed as I was walking through the halls, that she always wore this one t-shirt that was of a band that I liked. So I was like, okay, this is perfect. All right. And okay, so just a little background story. My brother is a pretty good musician, and he could play some of the songs of this band. So using the platform of Snapchat, I Snapchatted a video of my brother <laughs> playing one of the songs to her. And Ooh. I was like, okay, this is a brilliant idea. <laughs> Opened. No response. Okay. Let me send another video. Send another video. She responds, wow, she's such a good drummer. She, that's a he. That's my little brother. <laughs> so this girl is something special. This girl is definitely something special. Uh, I immediately asked, okay, I, this kind of sucks to, uh, communicating through Snapchat, so if I could, yeah, here's my number, we could talk, and sure enough, we got to talking, and we just, boom, hit it off like that. Now, I hung out with her for the first time, and clearly I was nervous, and I pulled up to her house, which is on a little curve, and I didn't know which house was hers, because I'd never been there before, so I was like, I texted her, hey, I'm here, and turns out it was the house next door. And I awkwardly <laughs> reversed when I realized that, and I reversed and tried to park, and I parked in the middle of the street, and I was like, oh, this is a nightmare, I look like such a horrible driver. To think that was worse, her mother came out and wanted to meet me, and I'm parked in the middle of the street like a lunatic. And, oh, oh boy, this is a mess. So I parked my car, which is halfway in the middle of the street, and I walked right on out, and I was like, hello, it's a pleasure to meet you. I promise you I'm not a bad driver, and we'll keep your daughter sitting. Hello. And from then on, like, I was like incredibly like, okay, I really like this girl. She's really nice, but too scared. Can't go. She's my friend. She's too scared. I can't do anything. Nope. She's my friend. And that went on for the rest of high school. She became my best friend. We were like this, like best buds. <laughs> it's not the best idea, but still, we were best buds. And we went through, I went through my senior year of high school together, and she was a junior, and we were really close together, and it was, it was fun. And then I graduated, high school was over. And I found myself thinking to myself, okay, wait, I really miss this girl. Like, I need to hang out with her over the summer and grow close to her because uh, deep down I knew that like, I really like her feelings for this girl. Now, summer passed, summer passed month by month, and it got down to July. July, so this is the end of summer. I'm about to go off to college, and we had, ha we had been hanging out like multiple times a week for the entire summer, and she liked me the entire time, and for some reason, like, I couldn't pick up on that because I'm a child and you know, talk to females, but I, I eventually learned, it was a learning process. Now, I, uh, one, one, one fateful evening, I noticed that she was hanging out with this other boy, and I was like, oh no, I'm still scared, because I don't want to lose her, like, I actually like this girl. So, my nervous self was like, okay, I'm just going to ask her on a date, let's do it. And I got the courage to shoot her a text, because I didn't ask her a person, but it's okay, I assure you, because she said yes, and I was like, perfect, wear something cute, because it's a date. Date? Ooh, okay. Now, we went on a date, on an ice cream date, and I was 
about to throw up the entire time. <laughs> the ice cream was not helping my stomach. And I was just like, please don't throw up in front of this pretty lady. I would make a fool of myself. But I didn't. I did okay. And that night, we got back, and I was like, I don't remember how to talk properly. And I was just like, come here. And I like kissed a female for the first time. <laughs> Boy, was I excited. I was like, wow, this is, where has this been all my life? And, uh, and uh, that was July 20th. And I only had a month left of like actually living in the same town as her. And I was, once again, I was really scared. Because I'm going to go to college. I'm going to probably like lose, lose sight and lose her. And I'm like, this is awful. I don't want to lose this. So sure enough, a month went by where we... We dated, and it was nice. Like we actually like lived in the same city, and sure enough, the time came where sure enough I had to move to Pepperdine University, where I am right now. And throughout there, I learned a lot of lessons. I learned how to commit, which I've never done before, because I'm this is the first girl I've ever like actually dated. And I learned a lot of things like uh, how to drive four hours in the middle of the night on weekends just because I want to see her and stuff like that. And it was really an eye-opening experience and something that's changed me for the better, seeing how much I've grown as a person and matured, being able to handle this. And all of this happened in moments of bravery where I got over my nervousness, I got over my fears, I stepped out, and good things happened. That is all.